Good evening and welcome back to another Girly Giggles. Oh my gosh, we have been chatting offline beforehand and we have been roaring with laughter with some of the things that have gone on. Some of you will recognise I am in the same top um, where I've just done a very, 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 very um, expletive Instagram live where I've been banned by those people. Um, they've been trying to shut my voice down. So fingers crossed, uh, this video is going to reach you. And fingers crossed, I'm not going to swear as much as I did in that video because I was a potty mouth. Anyway, my loves. <laughs> May as well be the bleeper. I'll go bleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I might have to do that on here. Bleep, 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 bleep. bleep. <laughs> So um, actually, let, before I go any further and before I come to you two and ask how you are, ladies and gents, I am a little bit potty mouth today. So please grab your headphones or maybe turn the volume down so your children cannot hear. OK, just giving you the warning is the warning. Maxine, my love, any exciting stories from the post office? No, it's been really quiet. You'll get Every, Because luckily, <laughs> which sounds awful, but luckily because everyone's out enjoying the sunshine. Yeah. So I've been able to stand at the door and watch people going out for a walk. Stalk. Yeah, I do. I stand at the door all the time and wave at people. Cars going past, just wave at them randomly. That's why um, they're not coming in. Just like quite it. a few people wave back now, to be fair. They go, oh, there she is again. Look, that woman. <laughs> that crazy <laughs> woman. And then we avoid that shot. But it's just, it's nice to see people out. Good. Going for walks, you know, and yeah. looking happier than they have done in months. Yes. Yeah. So, yes. The only one interesting thing that happened was an ex-partner came in to see me yesterday. Right. Don't know why, random. Um, he <laughs> bought two random. bars of chocolate and a drink. Yeah, I went, here he is again. So he said, uh, you know, how are you? How's things? Have you had the pokey pokey thing? So I said, no, I don't believe in it. So he said, well, you need to have it. And he went off on a rant. So I just stood there. I thought, you know, I'm used to this now. And he said, have you got anything to say? I went, yes, thank you for leaving me. And he said, sorry. I said, now it makes sense why we could never be together for the rest of our lives. <laughs> and I feel extremely relieved. <laughs> and he said, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, you may leave now, sir. But thank you. Please don't come back. <laughs> yeah. And he toddled off and then he came back. And he said, what's that supposed to mean? I said, oh, you're back again, are you? I thought I'd made myself perfectly clear. Thank you very much for leaving me. I was heartbroken at the time. <laughs> Yeah, heartbroken at the time, but now I get the reason why. They always show me signs and you've just shown me. Thank you well, so much. I think you're nuts. And I still am, my love, but you may leave now. <laughs> so I don't think he'll be coming in again. But yes, there is, there's a sign. I yeah. love that. So funny. Thank you so much for going and leaving me. <laughs> so, um, okay so okay you've got one funny story from the post office this week but um how are you how are you going maxine how are me i'm doing great yeah good yes i had come for the whole of the easter holidays which was amazing Aww. um so that was fun filled and then i've now done my front garden my back garden and yesterday i hand washed my car oh do you want to do first that? time in three years it was disgusting it took three washes it screamed, didn't know. And you know when you start washing, you go, "Good God, what is that dirt? Is this the colour I mean, of my car?" Yeah, <laughs> and you can see out of the windows now, and everything—it's amazing. Wow! Yes, handy. Thing it to see out the window. took me two hours, two oh hours to clean it, and I wow. bought a hose pipe on a reel. Yeah, yeah. So I got it out of the box, thinking I'll show the neighbours. I've got one of these now because I see them all the time. <laughs> I couldn't figure out how to put it together. <laughs> so you've got this thing here which I thought attached to the taps so I undid this whole 15 foot reel and at the end there is there's nothing at the other <laughs> and then there's this why was I went no 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 just put it back in the box Max and make out you never took it out and just use the bucket so I just had to keep going with the bucket. <laughs> I could see you doing this I had to google it I said where the hell what attached it where's the water come from <laughs> so I had to google it I went oh my god Maxine how stupid are you <laughs> Honestly, luckily the neighbours weren't watching and they didn't see it because I was in the garage. So I you hid think. myself away. <laughs> <laughs> but I see these people with these on a reel, you know, the little carry handle, and you mm. get two legs and a carry handle. I put the handle on the leg and I can't get it back <laughs> uh... out. So you now have to carry it sideways. Like... <laughs> so, yeah, it's all good fun. All oh, good fun. Brilliant. And there's me offering to do your house for you. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I'll bother. Thinking, 
that's my gosh through my I'm mind when she said her. What, what could we what could we get her to do where it's safe make the tea <laughs> yeah <laughs> raise the post yeah. office post the address yeah. cards for me lovely what else could we get her to do dons oh, I'm, sure I'm just garden. Garden. I'll put her in the garden in the garden yeah I'll hoover the grass Trust me, in the garden, like literally, um, so ladies and gents, as you may all know, <laughs> I'm just searching for a property at the moment and I've got a full on day tomorrow of going to see properties, but one of them is literally, um, it looks like a, it could be a beautiful house, but it needs gutting and everything doing and both Maxine and Donna offline before were like, don't worry, we'll come and help. Honestly, we'll help you. We'll be there with our buckets and our paint brushes and, and Maxine's bringing her tools. So, um, yeah. As long know. as you don't need the hose, we will be fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to clear the garden. <laughs> I'm going to post a picture of it when we've done because um, you can clearly <laughs> see the handles on upside down. So it doesn't balance. <laughs> I just love you. This is why I have to just start with that. Okay, so what's going on in your world? Yeah, Thank Maxine's you. world. That's Maxine's Thanks, world. And I Dom, love you. How about you, my love? I'm good, darling. I'm good. I've been a bit wobbly today. Not wobbly in mood. Been in a really good mood. But um, just yeah, just um, head. My head's been really weird. Like a bit. Woo, a bit spaced out like I've taken something I haven't just so everybody knows um <laughs> but yeah I was like walking to the park and I thought whoa my head's really going round the energy's so, um, around at the moment really, really now really I was good. like that a couple of days ago on Saturday right. I actually had to sit down at work and I never sit down because I, yeah. I, I race around all the time but I literally had to sit down because it was like I wasn't quite in the room. I had That's to wait for exactly, my head to catch up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I, I do walk quite fast. When I go for a walk, I go for a, a walk. Do you know what I mean? I don't stroll. And I thought to myself, well, maybe I'm just, you know, going too fast. But even slowing down, I still felt spaced out. Yeah. So I just sat in the park with a, a... I treated myself to a chai latte and I sat in the park. <laughs> yeah, you need to stop at that point. Honestly, um, there's a lot of physical upgrades taking place at the moment. I did right. about it on one of the videos I did earlier, but there's a lot of physical upgrades. Okay, thanks, babe. Need to be gentle with ourselves. So do okay. you feel wobbly. Like, yeah. I actually had to lie down today. You know, right. me, it's very rare that I no. do that. I actually yeah, exactly. Because exactly. I just physically... I can't okay, hold, thanks. Hold my body up. So, oh, thanks, babe. That's made me feel a bit more, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a bit more human. You can remember, just because the, the darkness is being taken off the planet, it doesn't mean the reason the darkness is going is because we're ascending. And if you think about it, uh, like when you're taking off on a plane, you know, when you go through the clouds and the bubble, yes. that's what we're doing at the yeah. moment. We're going through that. But when we get the other side, we're going to be sweet. You know, yeah. so it's, you know, you don't get up and walk around, do you, when you're going through the bumpy bit? You no, absolutely not. Absolutely a glass not. of wine or something, you yeah. know, because you just have to. So my recommendation is just sit around. Do that. You know, envisage those roots going into the core of the earth. Um, yeah. And just do whatever you need to do to help you get back in your thank body. Thank you, darling. Quick, yeah, thank you. Between I about will. 20 and 40 minutes, I'm finding that the upgrades and stuff are, are doing. So, okay. Um, you know, just look after yourself. There's probably yeah. people that need to hear this, Don. So thank you. Yeah, yeah. I just yeah. thought I'd mention it. You know, it's a, so that's all. But I'm in a great mood. I feel fine. Um, you know, uh, we'll go on to what I what happened to me this week with my cousin and stuff because that's another subject that we're going to talk about. But yeah, no, I'm really good. I'm really good. good. Yeah, mm-hmm. full of joys of spring. Good, and it's nice that it's starting to feel like mm-hmm. spring now, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. It is. God, yeah. Yeah. We've got some blue sky on the go. Although today has been particularly cold where I am. Yeah, it's been a bit hazy here. So when in the haze, it's cold. As soon as the sun's coming out, it's a bit warmer. So beautiful, right? But yeah. Yeah, we were freezing here this morning. It really was cold. Mm. Yeah, it was cold at six when we went out for our walk. Really cold. But by one o'clock this afternoon, it was like yesterday, boiling hot day. Yeah. Mm. See, yeah. this is the weird thing, though. It's not warm enough for the where, where we are in the time of year, right? No, well, oh, I don't no, think definitely it is. Not. No, I don't think it is. No, because no. this time last year was boiling hot. Yeah, yeah, I thought it was <laughs> all day long. I'm sat outside. I've yeah. checked my diary. I know. <laughs> what on. was I doing this day last year, Max? <laughs> there we are. Yeah, twenty first. <laughs> Love it. Okay, so let's um, let's get going on what we were going to talk about this evening. So, ladies and gents, there's a couple of things that um, I decided that I wanted to talk about this week. So, I messaged the girls and I'm like, because I always say to them, "Is there anything you feel really passionate about speaking about?" Um, and we always have a little conversation about it. But today, I was like, "We are talking about this because I feel extremely passionate about it." So, the first thing, me and Donna just about, went, "Yeah." 
Yeah, basically, yeah. they they did today. They were like, yeah, yeah. we'll just let her, we'll just let her go on her little merry way. <clears throat> the first thing I want to talk about is censorship. You know, we're going to talk about uh, what's going on around the world and the levels of censorship that are hitting all of us right now. The second thing I want to talk about is integrity. I think integrity right now is really important. So um, if there are people that are surfacing in your life right now that you're like, wow, where did that come from? Or maybe you're getting signs on somebody, please stick around to listen to the second bit of it because I think it's going to be really important. Mm -hmm. It's going to be a very, very conscious conversation on integrity, okay? So let's start at the very beginning. So today on my Instagram, um, obviously it will be yesterday when you're watching this live tomorrow, but today on my Instagram, I posted a picture of me on a paddleboard, literally me on a paddleboard. Some of my followers messaged me going, oh shit, I thought you were naked because my bikini was like, I thought that. Um, and they were like, oh my God, I had to take a double take at you. You know, they clearly thought I was just doing that. Um, but yeah, I posted a picture of myself in a bikini on a paddleboard, kind of, and I was waving as if to say, see ya, I'm out of here. And quite frankly, I, it, there was no words in my writing other than one word, lockdown, that I didn't change the O's to be zeros or anything like that. Other than that, every single word was covered and it came up with the CV, uh, V thing. You know, the the, um, the yeah. banner that they put on everything that is to do with the CV thing in the vein. Jabby, jabby. And I was, yeah, jabby, jabby. I love that. <laughs> so I was, I was like, I got messaged by about 60 people this morning going, oh my God, have you seen? Because I didn't see. Like, I just don't keep on top of it. And I was wetting myself laughing. I had people from Melbourne. I had people from South Africa, people from England. You name it. The whole world was like, why is this you know, warning come up on her picture of her in a bikini. Like, so that's a really, really, um, obviously brand new thing that's happened. Then of course my Instagram live this afternoon, I did an Instagram live and I'll be honest, the first video I was doing okay. And then as soon as I mentioned, um, you know, the people that lead each country, you know, there's a special word beginning with G that they're all called meant at the end. Um, that as I mentioned that word once in the first video, I got cut off. And in the second video, as soon as I mentioned it again, yeah, again, went again, it literally went. Yeah. So somebody is listening to me, which is fascinating. I mean, different platforms have been for a while, right? But Instagram has actually been really quite good with me. Um, but today, not so much. Donna, I know- but Last year, yeah. if you remember, on your live, around this time, you mentioned the WHO, I'll call it. Yeah. And they wouldn't let you finish. Yes. It kept cutting you off continually. And literally, was it was bang- like somebody had broke the microphone. I was bang on with what I was talking about back then, but it was something- yeah like new and off off the wall as most people would say and today what I was talking about again is something that is brand spanking new and it's not out there and it's stuff that really needed to have the consciousness raised on it which is why I speak about it Mm. so you know I've had two scenarios today where I've been well three because I had to do my life in two, two phases so I've had three scenarios just today on being censored now Donna I know you have been censored this week um yeah. on face ache yeah absolutely so i i've got a little cousin and she started up her own little entrepreneur in a in a late, early teens and she started up a slime business you know the slime that the kids love yeah. and it's called slime queen and she wanted me to join the group um so i excitedly said yeah of course i'll join your group you know share it so i shared it and i went to join the group and it came up with a warning saying that i wasn't allowed to join any more groups um and I can't remember the exact wording it was something like we've taken your ability away we've taken your ability to to join groups away to protect or something against something and I thought I'm joining a kid's slime group (laughs) do you know what I mean how rude that how rude and I do you know what I tried three or four times and um and then there was a button where it says if you disagree with this please press it and I pressed it (laughs) And all I got was something like, I think it said something like, um, we have made this decision. Uh, Basically, you know, who cares? We don't actually care what you think. This is our final decision. Yeah, but yeah, something like that. Yeah. Mm. But it was, there was another one. Oh, I was trying to comment on your YouTube the other day, Luce, and it wouldn't let me comment on that. And I thought. No, it didn't didn't let me either. 
this is weird so i know you know it's just it's it's just ridiculous it's ridiculous tiring. It's yeah really, it's tiring it's tiring and then so max have you been censored at all this week um on this crazy thing so <laughs> i've put all the stuff out you know to wake people up perfectly fine i can slate all these people and they'll let that go i put a picture of me up and i get a <laughs> warning i'm breaching the rules wow. it was my head <laughs> So tomorrow when I put the hose up, if you want to see that girl, <laughs> I'm going to hold the hose up and see if I get censored for that because I put it on wrong. Honestly, you know that's what, what I got censored for. It, it's because you've been randomly waving to people outside the post office. You're <laughs> on a wanted list. <laughs> Please, can you deal with this woman? <laughs> that's her. That's her head. That's what well, it is. <laughs> and then the other one I got censored on was, um... oh no. I went to put the hemorrhoids thing again. You know, I've had my hemorrhoids removed <coughs> and they wouldn't let me do that. So then I sent you the one I put. Yeah. Yeah, they wouldn't let me do that either. No, brilliant though. That was brilliant. Obviously, I was yeah. so grateful that you sent that to me. It's absolutely mm. amazing. So FaceSake have got these banners where you can put your face in or your profile yeah. picture in a banner basically talking about the, the jab jab. The jab I've had my jabber jabber, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Double walkie. I used to yeah. love that frame. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, you know, like it's just narcissism at a whole new level, right? You can't it's edit it on cool. Facebook, by the way. You can only put that. But mm. you can go on another, um, not Pinterest, but another one, copy it onto there, put your face in the middle and change the wording. Right. But it doesn't let you post to Facebook now. They've oh. stopped. Well, they won't let me. <laughs> yeah. I should think there's been a lot of people trying to, to be fair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Another figure on your own three. We're a pretty passionate <laughs> bunch, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're a pretty passionate bunch. So just just going on a little bit more from the censorship, because I think this is really important. Mm. So um as Donna was um kind of alluding to, she was listening to my um Instagram live earlier and I was sharing a very, very, very scary situation. I was sharing a situation about something that has been published on TikTok um, and it is basically inciting sexual crime on the 24th of April. So, of course, as you can imagine, I, I, um, I just don't stand for any of this nonsense. OK, and it's basically saying something along the lines of on the 24th of April, you can commit any um, sexually driven crime and get away with it. Now, how can that be doing the rounds on social media? Then there is somebody like myself or like, Don I mean, Donna's trying to get in a bloody group for her niece. Uh, sorry, her cousin. You know, Maxine is just, you know, wanting to do. Showing my head. Do. <laughs> and, and I'm just, I'm here just raising the consciousness on these subjects. Yeah, yeah we are being banned and that yeah. stuff is allowed to go out. Like this censorship is absolutely nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. absolutely nuts and for any of you that want to watch that video back please hop over to lucy davis um 2222 on instagram it is there as long as it doesn't get taken down um yeah it's there for you to be able to watch i don't want to go into it too much here because we know i'm already on mm -hmm. i'm on the naughty step with you yeah already, exactly so we yeah. don't want to go there any further no. however please if you are a man or a woman with a child at the age of a tiktok age please 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 Check your child's phone. Yeah, I'm going to warn a lot of my friends with children at that age. I'm going to be sending out messages after this call. Yeah. Um, so it has appeared on FaceAke. Right, in okay. That age, in that age group. It's okay. Just, yeah. If I can find it, I'll, I'll send the link through. But I'm, Yeah. If you can see who's done who's done that, babe, and you do get that, let me know because somewhere. I'll, um, I, you know, I'll report it as yeah. well. The more of us yeah. that report it, the better. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, like I said to you offline, ladies, I have, I've reached out to all of the people in like the yeah. community and stuff to ask yeah. them for assistance in helping finding this video because we need to nip this in the bud. Yeah. God, yes, got to go. Is, this is a subject which we cannot stand for. No, now, no, no. obviously, there are protests and stuff planned for the 24th. Um, so obviously, it might be something to do with that, but it's not okay. At no point. No can any human being <coughs> think that they've got a day where they can get away with committing a hideous crime? I think, no. but the thing is about it is, yes, they're the marshes on the 24th, um, but it, it's the fact that they can put it out there. Yeah, That's the oh, worst thing about it. And, and it'd be left there, not taken yeah. down. Yeah. 
And this is the whole point about censorship, girls, right? Because mm. literally we are being censored with our voices, like anything that we're doing, anything that we're posting, anything that has like CV or the V or mm. that G kind of thing, you know, it's like everything is being taken down. Everything's coming up with a warning, yet that video is doing the rounds with no fucking warning on it. There's no, no, Sophie said there was no warning on it at all. Wow. Somebody had mentioned it to her and she went on. Yeah. So she's going to find she's going to find out where it was posted so I can let you know. Yeah. And, and what's yeah. quite interesting is I noticed on Instagram today that there's this post doing the round about women shedding their like the lining of their uterus because of their partner mm. or somebody coming into contact with somebody that, that, that's had the jabber jabber. Yeah. Um, and basically Instagram are saying this is completely sensitive. You know, it's it's I can't remember the words they use, but it's it's pretty gruesome, is basically what it's saying. That's real life. That's what's taking place right now. How can they mm. be censoring that? But yet yeah, this yeah. is okay. That's the thing. That's what made me feel sick when you were telling me about it. That's why I felt so it's sick. But how long has it been up there? And how many people have seen that? Exactly. The wrong people. And how many young yeah. children now believe either yeah. they're going to be vulnerable on that day or they can get yeah. away with it? Yeah. yeah, it's yeah. just it's disgusting. How yeah. dare you incite sexual yeah. crime? How yeah. dare you? Who do you think you are? Like I got so passionate on my live, didn't I, Donna? I was oh, yeah. blind in. <laughs> you name it, and I'm not proud of my language, but I am so passionate about this. I'm here for the children. Excuse me, I'm here for the children, and you know, for any of you that are not aware, um, I'm running a group called um, Women Against Sexual Predation. It's called WASP for obvious reasons because we can't have those kind of words doing the rounds. But this is about a movement to make sure that we are nipping this kind of behaviour in the bud. This has infuriated me. Mm. Infuriated yeah. me. Well, I just felt so sick. I yeah, felt really it's, sick. It's scary. It's yeah. scary. You know, it really, really is. I'll tell you what I've noticed a lot more of lately, just coming slightly off this, but not really. Um, I, I was talking about getting some new bras the other day. Okay, I wanted some nice comfy bras, so I was looking for them. And that evening, all that was flashing up on my phone was stuff about bras. Oh, I've had that. I yeah. hadn't even now. Bear in mind, I hadn't typed it in my phone. Yeah, I had just spoken it yeah. to my daughter. Well, they're listening. They're listening. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Everything. Your, on your camera, basically, the way that um, Instagram and stuff like that works, they are constantly taking photos of you to capture your reaction so they know what to sh shove in front yeah. of your face. Yeah. And I, I was just, yeah, it was like my dog. I literally, you know, literally was like, what? You know, well, but my dog, it's happening obviously, more lately. When, when my dog passed away, I had everything to do with dog memorabilia, dog this, dog that. And then Sophie went on to look at some, um, oh, we were looking for some new straighteners. Totally off, not on Amazon, not on anything like that. It was on a website somebody sent us. And the next thing on her Facebook, constantly, hair straighteners. For about yeah. the first 10 things. There's, there's and she went, how do they know I need straighteners? I went, yeah, oh, God. It's, it's, they are constantly <coughs> listening. They're constantly yeah. taking your photo as well, which is disgusting. It's again, from my perspective, that's a breach of human rights. I mean, everything's mm. a breach of human rights right now. But also, it's all of the cookies and everything like that. And if you've got, mm. um, you know, an Apple Mac, um, like I've got a MacBook Pro, and then I've got an Apple phone, obviously they communicate. So mm. literally, when I say Big Brother is watching, Big mm. Brother is watching. And actually, I'm just going to share something because it just pops into my head. Today, I had to do a course, a police awareness course, because I was caught speeding on the way to Sheffield. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember I shared it. I was really on the naughty step. I was doing 71 on a motorway. Well, but that's slow for you. Exactly. Yeah. Thank God, because it, apparently they changed the speed to 60, but there was no signs. I promise you there was none. Anyway, it's by the by. Today, um, I did the course, which is just hilarious, right, for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, the whole way through, I was giggling to myself to the point the guy was like, Lucy, are you OK? Because I was laughing so much because he was basically saying they are stalking you now. Literally every single um, step along any motorway, they are stalking you. It's as simple as that. Um, but the thing that made me laugh the most is where I'm looking to buy a house, there was a lady that lived right there on the course. And when I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I, I live here. She was like, oh, I only live down the road from you. And I was like, well, where do you live? We're going for a glass of wine. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so well worth going, not, right? Yeah. That was the reason for your course. That's why you had to be there. Every time you go on these things, you come back with 10 friends. <laughs> <laughs> and 
a red pill about 50. Yeah, <laughs> well, I definitely did that today as well. I was kind of like, so what do you think about this? And I could see their brains were like, tick, 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 tick. You know, I trust that I'm placed exactly where I need to be. So when I got that speeding ticket, although I was like, you know, because I wasn't doing anything wrong. I'm on a motorway. It's not like people can walk across the road. There was absolutely no, no work being done on the road. There was no reach. Do you know what I mean? Um, but it is what it is. And maybe that's the little rebel inside of me. But, you know, then I was like, clearly I needed to get that. Yeah. Mm. Clearly. Like I've, I got caught. I've only been caught speeding once before. And I instantly got three points. I didn't get offered a call. So did I. So did I. Exactly the same. I've only been caught once. Oh, no, I was, now it's, I was now doing really, 90 in a yeah, second. Really so I deserved it. it. Mm. I deserved it. Absolutely 100% deserved it. Well, this um, is so slow for me. And I, took, oh, no. and I took the three points graciously because, you know, I, hands out. I was yeah. driving too fast. But um, I wasn't offered a course. <laughs> Well, I don't, Maybe. I don't get it because I wasn't offered a course last time either, but I'm no. really grateful. I'm yeah. really grateful because, yeah. you know. I, I stay on for well, we had years, a lady, a lady um, came in to post a letter back to the police. <laughs> um, they'd caught her speeding and she was saying, well, I wasn't speeding. And they sent her a letter saying, we need you to confirm that you were driving. And she put on it quite sarcastically. Well, if you'd looked at the cameras close, you would have seen who was driving which they didn't take to very well at all. So they sent her a letter back. She had to fill out this whole thing about was she driving, how long she owned the car, um, where was she going? Um, and there was something else wow. on it because she brought it in to show me. I said, well, maybe you did rile them by putting that, you know, yeah. put, your, put your cameras a bit closer. Wasn't, they wasn't wise. Um, <laughs> but they've said the same. Yeah, instead, of just, you know? instead of getting three points, she's got six points. And she said, because she answered them back, because she does not, she shouldn't get six, she should get three. Well, but she true. spoke, she spoke to one of the guys, one of the copper guys that she knows. And he said, oh, there's nothing, you can't get away with anything now. He said, if you're caught wow. speeding most of the time now, if you don't pay it, pay the fine straight away um, or declare it within, I don't know, two days or something ridiculous. Um, then you get a, an awareness course or three points, depending on your attitude. He said, it's all down to your attitude. And so, she said, well, obviously, she said, my attitude wasn't very good, was it? So what's really interesting is I actually wasn't going to do anything about it. I was speaking to Donna mm. about it. And I, was, I remember no, that. I know they can't do anything about it. Like, uh, physically, I know. But, but then I was like, hmm, this has happened for a reason. Like, yeah. it's happened for a reason. And listening to that course today, I was, I've learned a lot. I've learned yeah. a lot of how the government are moving towards stalking us even more, how they're yeah. going to control us even more. And I'm like, okay, thank you so much for sharing that information with yeah. you. And the guy was lovely. Literally, I registered and he's like, oh my God, you're like a little bundle of energy. And I'm like, shit, how can you tell that just by saying hello to me? You know, like what's with that? But, um, Probably because nobody else turns up to a police awareness course going, with morning. a smile on their face. <laughs> <laughs> my name's um, Lucy, hi. <laughs> yeah, I know. I love <laughs> And all She's the, in the wrong room. Yeah, <laughs> all the room. Right, I kept having to mute myself because I was pissing myself laughing, and he was like, "Lucy's having a good time," and I'm thinking, "Jesus, if only you guys knew like what's going through my head right now." Like you'd be like, "She's nuts. We need to get away from her." But um, yeah, you know, a couple of red pills. You know, you just got to live the dream. In a day's work. No, no, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and I got a lovely email just saying, oh, thank you for being so, you know, upbeat and positive through the course. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Gold star for Lucy. <laughs> red pill, red pill, red pill. <laughs> and there was, 11, there was 11 people on there, so. Well, that goes to show then, doesn't it? Oh, yes. They all got a cheeky little one. So. Interesting enough, Liz, what sort of age group were they? Just wondering. Was um, it all different ages? I would say probably late 30s to... Maybe seventies. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. No young at all. <laughs> no, which is interesting, right? Because when um, Barry had to do a course, actually, <laughs> a couple of years that. ago now. Yeah, a couple of years ago now. Oh, long overdue. Long overdue. <laughs> when he got it, I was like, "Well, Mine I'm sorry." But this, <laughs> you know, I'm sorry, but yeah. um, and uh, 
he said when he was on the course, he said the same. It was all kind of our age group, you know, like you're, you're a lot younger than us, but it was all from 40s upwards. Yeah. There was no young kids. <laughs> and what's, what's so fascinating about that is, you know, I just think the kids pay more attention and they know exactly where the cameras are and they know where to mm. sit down. And, and they've, yeah, you're right, actually. They've got the equipment that tells them when it's coming up, right? And also, I think also it's because um, they... Oh, what was I going to say? It's gone right out of my head, didn't I? It was a bit, I thought it was quite a good point, but obviously not. Three, two, one, you're back in the room. <laughs> the, the, other thing, the other thing that I just want to mention about it as well is I am so bloody grateful that I've done it online. I cannot imagine sitting in a room and having to go through that process. Yeah. Like that. Thank you. And oh, now, yes, of course. I'll be honest, I'm, online. I'm, not, I'm not speeding. No. To be honest, it's really, it's really slowed me down. I need more time. Me you know, too. tomorrow I've got an appointment back in Surrey, um, because as you know, I'm back up in Hertfordshire. Um, my I've got an appointment tomorrow at nine o'clock in um Surrey. So I'm kind of like, I'm gonna have to leave about seven, mm. you know, because normally it takes about an hour and a half. It does make you more aware, doesn't it? It does make you more aware. I better leave at seven then. That's good. That was the uh, that was the other thing. Well, I, I hate to be boring, but I don't no, speak. No, Max, shush. Quick, 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 quick. Um, oh, I forgot. No, I haven't. I haven't. I'm only joking. Um, so, um, they've also got these limiters, haven't they? As well, the youngs, you know, they can have cheaper insurance yeah, yeah, yeah. if Box. they have these limiters. So, I think that's probably a factor as well. There you go. I've got it out, girls. You can carry on. Yeah, now. they've got oh, it's, it's the, the black box you have to attach, don't you? That's it. That's it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Not. So it records so that's everything. Working. You can't be out after ten o'clock at night, yeah, uh, or before right. seven in the morning to keep right. your insurance right. at the moment because nobody's yeah. well, out anyway. To be fair, they've probably just been trialing it. They're going to put it on everyone's car soon. <laughs> Very good point. Very good point. I know, right? How oh, exactly um, interesting. Right. So I anyway. think we've covered censorship. We've covered a bit of the police. Like, yeah. you know, a little experience that I've had with the old bill. Um, actually, it wasn't them. It was just people that they gave the course over to. But, you know, obviously I was on the naughty step with the police for a short period of time. I actually got caught in Leicester, in the Leicester area mm. when I was driving to Sheffield. And what's interesting is I spoke to Maxine because Leicester kept popping up for me. And I'm like, God, what do I need to go to fucking Leicester for now? And interestingly enough, literally, as soon as I stopped the course today, I got an email from a lady in Leicester. <laughs> Well, there you go. I mean, you, you have to go. Up, can you? No. You literally can't make it up. My life is just like a... Well, look at Sheffield. Yeah, I know. I'll go on, Max, say. Yeah. So you obviously went to Sheffield in February. Yeah. Um, and because I used to work at Premier Inn, there's one around the corner. And we now have the... Uh, what do we refer to them as? Strangers on the shore coming over and staying oh, in right, a hotel yeah, yeah. in Sheffield. Yeah. A right, lot right, of right. them. Right all I'm free going. of charge, all free of charge. Wow. And I think Premier Inn charged something like, I don't know, they're about 50 quid a night at the minute. The other one around the corner, which is not a very nice one, I have to say, is charging £250 a night because they're being paid by the G's. Oh. Wow. The G's wow. are paying it all. They literally wow. print a bill and send it and they get the money. That's the yeah. Wow. That's disgusting. Yeah, because I said to my friend, I said, are you not getting any? She went, well, not let them in. I said, oh, you have to do as the G's say. Yeah. She said, well, they didn't ask us, but they wouldn't because we're known. And this hotel isn't very well known. And it's a slum, really. It's not a very nice one. Wow. Isn't it interesting yeah. what's going on and what's coming to the surface right now? But though? literally, it's two minutes what? away from where you were in, that, in the Tesco. Yeah. You know the Tesco where you went and nobody was waiting when you came out, there's 300 people, like a pop concert. <laughs> That one. <laughs> yeah, it's so weird. I, me and my friend, because my, I spoke to my girlfriend earlier this week, and literally, we cannot remember. Literally, we can't remember anyone being there. And I, I feel we just went into a fifth dimensional bubble. Yeah. You know, which is so fascinating. And anyway. Because there's always a queue there. Yeah, we haven't got long left. So let's talk about integrity. Um, I yes. think this is a really important piece um, that we need to cover off because there's been um, a few occasions in the last few weeks where I've really had to up my levels of discernment to a level that I'm, 
you know, not really, um, I don't normally sit at because I just trust my gut feel or whatever, but mm. there's, there's really um, a, an extra layer that we need to go into right now. So for anybody out there, and I'd love to hear your girls' um, opinions on this, for anybody out there that has a business or a service, please, please, please know what you are giving out is what is going to come back to you. Absolutely. If you are promising to do something for someone, do it and do it with fucking bells on. Do not let us down. Humanity is what I'm talking about by cutting corners or not delivering the service. Yeah. I'm really upset that I've had a number of emails from different people over the last couple of weeks sharing examples of services or things that they've paid a lot of money for and they've got a really, really sub-zero service. So I wanted to talk about it today. Integrity is vital. Mm. Okay, it's so important that we up our levels of care with each other. I make sure that anyone that does a session with me or comes to, I mean, you guys know how cheap my self-love club hangs are, right? Everybody leaves there and they've had a bloody breakthrough. But I keep it as cheap as possible so as many people can come. I do Instagram lives every single day. I, I, I literally serve, 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 serve constantly. Why? Because it's about my integrity around serving the masses. Please. I'm not saying I'm perfect, by the way. I, I mess up too. Like there are times when I mess up. However, what I would really like each and every one of you to do is up your levels of integrity with each other. Yeah, spot on. Be better with each other. Love each other more. Mm. You, know, you, may you, not, you may think you're not perfect, but we get so much value for money. You go way above what you're supposed to offer mm -hmm. and what we would expect to get for that money. Yeah, of course. It's, you know, it's off the scale. Of course. You literally give your services for free, realistically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We only well, hand over it money because it's good luck, yeah. realistically. Yeah. That's yeah. how I look at it. Yeah, absolutely. And whenever you come up with the numbers, there's always a reason behind the numbers. And I know what I'm giving, I'm going to get so much back for. Yeah. yeah. Um, but there are a lot of people out there who, no, they don't. They offer you this bit for that much. Yeah. And they're but, the but takers. Also, but also they offer you a service of this and they deliver this. And that's, yeah, that's not it. okay with it. It's not, yeah. it's I'm not, not okay. okay with it. If you say to somebody, I'm going to deliver X, Y, and Z. Imagine going, imagine getting a builder. Let's talk about that house that, like, let's just say that I'm going to buy that house that needs everything doing to it. Imagine if a builder comes in and he's like, right, I'm going to do the whole, I'm going to be able to gut it. I'm going to be able to replumb it. Like whatever you need for 50 grand, right? Okay, great. We agree the plans, we agree the designs, everything's sweet, awesome. Start chipping away at it. He does two rooms and then he's like, well, that's your 50 grand gone. Excuse me? Yeah. That Can't is wait. the same principle. Absolutely. I agree. a service. Yeah. You know, if you walked into your doctor and you just were like, oh, hi, how are you today? And then they were like, oh, yeah, I'm good. Thank you. How are you today? And they were like, oh, just started to talk about the problem. And then as soon as the two minutes are up, yep, yeah, sorry, like you've had your two minutes now. You've got to go. You don't get your prescription or whatever it is that you went there for. You'd walk out there and you'd be like, hey, hang on a minute. Like, that's sub-zero. Like, that's, that's really horrendous cool. service. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. You know, so let's I am. Oh, I don't want to I don't want to be nasty here, but it tends to be um, the spiritual people that are doing this at the moment. And I, I like get a grip, people. Yeah. Get like a it gives you like it gives you the excuse to do what you like. Yeah. And it, yeah. No, yeah. it doesn't. Quite frankly, some people be setting the standard. Absolutely. But some people will look at them because of the spiritual nature and think, Oh, well, this must be right because they put their faith into them yeah. and basically they've just been ripped off. Yeah. And, yeah. and what I love so much, this is how much I love my followers because my followers feel comfortable to tell me this stuff. Mm. Yeah. They literally, honestly, I got a message from a beautiful young lady yesterday. Um, she's been following me for a long time and she was like, look, Lucy, I just would really value your opinion on this. And it, quite honestly, I don't normally, you know me, I, I literally took 30 minutes yesterday and went through as many messages as I could. And hers was one of the messages. She obviously just got me at the right time. And I'm so grateful that she felt she could share that with me because we need to talk about this. We need to nip this in the bud. Mm. Guys, sure. don't let yourself down. Don't let humanity down. Remember, everything is going onto a quantum computer. You mess somebody about, they will, well, they will know. They know our intentions. 
you know, and this is where we're going. You can't kid a kidder. Why do you think all the way through my membership program, and I know both of you know this, I'm banging on about honesty. The reason I'm banging on about it is you can't frig the quantum system. You can't, and you shouldn't want to. But what amazes me is how, how could they do that and still feel okay? Do you know what I mean? Because if they are spiritual, that wouldn't sit right with them either, if they were really. Yeah. Because there'd be something saying to you, do you know what, I really shouldn't be doing this. I just feel there's a lot of darkness, Max. I really I do. know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. They're not, and, and actually, they're not going up with us. Yeah. They're going to be staying right down there because it's, it's not there. Yeah. So, mm. you know, and, and actually I was, it's not just spiritual people. So I'm going to wipe mm. that comment from earlier. Mm. I do apologise, everybody. That was out of order for me to say that. Um, because look at the company that we were partnering with a short time ago. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah. oh wow. Around that, it's, it, that's not cool at all. No. You know, no. the other thing that I would just like to mention before we finish up for the day is um, please be aware if you're doing videos and you're doing stuff with people, be very aware. Mm. There's people with masks right now and just be very aware. You know, mm. there are people that are infiltrating. There are people that, you know, we just need to have a level of consciousness on everybody, okay? Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, we've got to protect ourselves right now. It's rife. Well, it's yeah. like some of my friends who I've had for a while on face ache. Sometimes they'll do something I don't agree with. Now, before I would just block them and go, oh, Nick, I don't want to listen to you. Now I stick with it. If it doesn't feel 100% right with me, then I unfollow them. Yeah. I haven't followed a lot of people in the last few weeks, I have to mm -hmm. say, but I don't do it automatic. I sit with what they're saying. Go, hang on, yeah. does this make, is this right yeah. with me? Yeah. Because if it's yeah. not, unfortunately, you're out of my yeah. area. Absolutely. So, yeah. And, and I think that's the right approach to take. Let's not be mean yeah. to look about anything. No. Let's no. With it. Let's feel into it. You know, and I actually, um, I actually sat with, a couple of things um, with a couple of people actually recently, and I just had to make the decision that it was it was yeah. wrong for me. Because mm. it's like to dark know. to dark. If you if you do a knee jerk reaction, that's you, isn't it? Of course, mm. that's triggering. So yeah, but if you sit with it and think about it, and still feel the same, it the the answer will come to you anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And it's time for to not associate with them. Exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. I mean, I've got nobody left on face eight now. So you've got just Donna. <laughs> you've got me. You've got Donna, me. Some hair straighteners and a dog you've got memorabilia. Me. That's but all don't, I've got. But don't set up a group because I won't be able to join it. <laughs> I'm going to set one up on purpose now. I'm just a bad me, influence, apparently. <laughs> well, you, you've always have been, Donna. Oh, well, <laughs> I know. It's been amazing to chat with you again tonight. Honestly, I do yeah. love these chats. And the feedback coming from people is so amazing. Oh, yes, it is. So Thank many, you for that. Even a lot of guys are like, God, I love listening to you, girl. Oh, it's so oh well, you've got a couple of guy fans who come in the shop now, and that's when it's coming on. Oh, beautiful. I think it was late one week, and they said, what happened last night? I said, it's on there now. <laughs> oh, I looked at half seven. It wasn't there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. My new boy. <laughs> Okay, my loves, Mwah. I love you both to the moon and stars. I cannot love wait you too. to give you some good news. Don't forget, everybody, pray for me and my new home. Pray for I will. I'll be thinking of you tomorrow. Um, ladies, thank you so much. I'll see you girls next week. And um, to everybody else, I will see you in the next video. Mwah. Lots of okay, love. Bye, guys. Everyone. Take care. Bye.